Hey Tallahassee, this is student meteorologist Colleen Peterson with your Hurricane Hermine special update on this Thursday evening. Now as we've seen in Tallahassee, it hasn't been that bad out, but don't worry, that bands are coming up into Tallahassee around this counterclockward flow all the way from Tampa. And Tampa has been getting hit all day with parts of the whole coast being flooded with the storm surges are very high. And going into the local radar, we see spotted showers all over Tallahassee, Monticello, and Perry. They're just getting, the rain is just begun, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to get into a very very heavy storm because the wind the miles per hour on this hurricane currently is 75 miles per hour now that is a category one hurricane yeah a category one hurricane so make sure that you're prepared stock up on whatever you need to stock up on water you know and then the tornado watch is all over the northeast part of florida as that can be a little scary out there so make sure that you're indoors and then the flooding wretch all the way down from Mexico Beach to Suwannee River, that storm watch can go up to six to nine feet. So I don't advise to go shred the gnar out there today because that's very huge. You have to be a professional to do that. But as we go into the watches and warning, there's a hurricane warning all over Tallahassee, the Big Bend region, but there is a hurricane watch over to the west. So make sure that those uh, wind miles might damage you so be careful out there and the current wind gust is 21 in Tallahassee around 3 o'clock it was 9 miles per hour now it's 21 and now that is going to increase maybe even spike up to the 50s 60 miles per hour 74 as we're seeing the hurricane one but as the hurricane does hit the Big Bend region it will dissipate a little but regain the strength once it gets into the Atlantic and hits affects the New Jersey area now it's 14 miles per hour as that counterclockward flow of this hurricane low pressure cell. But as we go into the current storm surge, six to nine feet, like I said, all the way down from the springs to Appalachia Cola. So make sure if the the roads are always already getting flooded as we see on the news. So make sure to stay inside. And if you're driving, I wouldn't advise it because probably nobody's gonna come save you with this bad weather. So as we go in into the hur the forecast come, the red indicates a hurricane warning but the pink is a hurricane watch and the tropical advisories all over the east coast there's 24 million people under some sort of tropical storm watch warning whatever it is going all the way from north carolina but as we hit virginia and the maryland area that is a hurricane wa watch i mean not a hurricane watch tropical storm watch as it will regain strength as it gets out into the atlantic and those warm hours do warm waters does increase the hurricanes intensity. Now as we go into what is a category one hurricane, well here it is, 74 to 95 miles an hour. That is category one. It was a tropical storm until around 4 or 3 o'clock today. It did turn into a category one. So and if you're wondering a tropical storm is 39 miles an hour to 74. So that is very high winds and right now it's sustained at 75 miles an hour every 60 seconds that is the average. So that is dangerously rough winds. So just a key point, rains will increase intensity, the roads will get flooded. Be careful, make sure to stock up because the power outage might come around. But the worst we're seeing, the landfall of the big cell is 1 a.m. And as those eye wall, around the eye wall is the strongest part, that's, those bins are going to come up and hit Tally directly. So make sure you stay inside with all your friends. So make sure everyone stays safe. Have a, make a hurricane party out of it. Now widespread wind water damage possible. So this has been Colleen Peterson, student meteorologist here at FSU for FSU Weather.